today we're heading down to Busan from Seoul to discover just how beautiful Busan is. To start your trip, head down to Seoul Station where you'll take the KTX train. The ride down is approximately 3 hours. So we do recommend coming in early and reserving your seats. We are in Busan! Doing a day trip from Seoul to Busan is absolutely doable, but it poses a little bit of a challenge because you've got the west side, the Gamchon Cultural Village, the market, and then you've got the right side which has the seaside temple, the Hyundai beach, and you've got spa land. There's just a lot of things to do. In today's guide, I want to show you some of the best things to do on the west side, some of the best things to do from the east side. So then you can make a comparables and then you can choose which section you kind of want to do because it's very hard to kind of do everything in one day. So if you have some time to spare here in Busan, maybe stay overnight like what we're doing right now. We're staying at Seomyeon, which is an area kind of like Myeongdong, Gangnam. It's sort of the commercial hub of Busan here but one tip before you do the day trip here to Busan is to download the neighbor app that's like the Korean Google map it's gonna tell you which line to transfer to which bus to take and really really accurate even which exit in the station as well so we're gonna go check out the seaside temple right now and we'll show you guys once you download the neighbor map check the bus timetable and hop on the bus at the station and head east towards Heidong Yonggun Temple. It's approximately an hour 20 minutes right till your final stop. So enjoy the sceneries along the way. So there is a couple of buses that takes you to the Seaside Temple here, but that number nine is an express one that gets you just like below the footsteps where you kind of have to kind of a little bit of a hike, about 15 minute walk down to the Seaside Temple. But as soon as you pass Lotte Mart, you want to get off. That's the stop that you need to get off after you pass Lotte Mart. <laughs> We're walking down towards the temple and there's just so many vendors and stalls selling food. Kind of hungry though, but might just go see the temple first. We are by the entrance to the seaside temple. It's a little bit of a walkway down, but in front there's a statue. There's like a statue of pagoda, which looks absolutely amazing. The craftsmanship. It's just like a tower of beautiful, stunning display here. Wow. I think it's really worth it to go even though it takes a long time about an hour from Busan station but look at the view totally worth it and apparently this temple was built in 13th century so wow look at the architecture everything it's so beautiful and apparently the belief was like if you pray one prayer with sincere heart your wish will be granted As you enter the main area of the temple, you'll be greeted by this small statue of Buddha and you have the opportunity to bathe the Buddha statue. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the ladle and then you're gonna scoop out some of the holy water and you're gonna pour that over the Buddha statue three times. The first time when you pour it, you're gonna say, may I eliminate all evil thoughts. Then the second time you pour it, you'll say, may I cultivate good deeds. The third pour, you're gonna say, may I help save all living beings. And that's the proper way of bathing the Buddha statue. When you get up to the top, wow, the view down the temple grounds is just stunning. You got the sea, you got the beautiful temple down the bottom and everybody's just having a good time. But when you reach up to this highest point in the temple grounds here where I am, my gosh, you can really see the statue of Kuan Im right now. Absolutely beautiful. And you got all these birds surrounding her. She's looking down to the sea. It's just a magnificent sight. Such a beautiful temple. So it's about 3 o'clock. We want to get ourselves to this next place. This is a beach. It's called Hendai Beach. Hendai Beach. Apparently it's really scenic, really picturesque. Especially because it looks like Gold Coast. The yeah. beach from Gold Coast if you guys have been to Australia. Wow. So we're going to head there. We're going to take the bus back. 
but instead of back to Xiaomyeon or Busan Station, we're gonna stop by in the middle there. Yep. Okay, so me and Helmi, we made it to Hyundai Beach. Yay! <laughs> oh, this is so breezy compared to the temple. It's mm. definitely a lot breezier. And this particular road here that we're in, it kind of looks like... Gold Coast. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. It kind of looks like Gold Coast, so it feels like you're back home. I know. But a really lively street. You feel it's like kind of hip and kind of like a youngster kind of vibe here. Mm. There's a lot of like young people here and just enjoying their time. People eating around the side of the street, so... And there are so many like shops, ah. restaurants, you know, all your Daiso, even Tiger Sugar from Taiwan. That's right, and we are definitely super hungry. This restaurant looks so big and famous with their fish cake. And in Busan, you have to eat the fish cake. So let's have a look. Oh my God, that's so much selections of fish cake. This is like fish cake land. <laughs> So apparently that one is the best seller, which is the octopus ball fish cake. So we are getting it for sure. So we got the number one best seller here, the grilled octopus. We got the cheese. And then finally we've got some crab. So we're trying to crab stick one. I just tried one. Oh my god, it's like it melts in your mouth. It's so delicious. And definitely super soft and tender. Ridiculous. Mm. Oh my god, I've never tried fish cake this good. It's so freaking crazy. Inside there's like corn and then spring onion and also the crab stick and surprise, surprise, there's actually cheese inside. No wonder it's so good, gosh. Oh my god, if you wanna explode your pants, you gotta come to this place here. It's uh, Busan Goresan fish cake. Oh my god, it's so bloody good. Everything oh melts in your mouth. You know what? I think we'll never make it to the beach because I just saw this soft tree ice cream and I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> Maybe it's not meant to be. Oh. Second round. So, after risking my life, I actually got this soft tree ice cream with the honeycomb on top. Yeah, it is worth to risk my life for this one. Mmm. So creamy, so sweet, so milky. Oh. And so as the sun set, it was time to freshen up. So we hopped on the train towards Centum City's Shinsegai department store, where Spa Land is located, to enjoy a nice Korean bathhouse experience. So as you exit out, there is this department store called Shinsegai. You get inside, you take the escalator up to the first floor, and just walk on through to Spa Land. Okay, so the spa kind of cost us about 40,000 won for two people. Not sure because it's, uh, it's late at night or... Uh, but this is today's weekdays actually. Today's weekdays. Yeah. Maybe late. Mm. And they actually open 6 a.m. till 11 p.m. So it's not 24 hours. That's right. And I guess, you know, it's more expensive than the traditional Jim Gilbang because look at the... Look it's quite at luxurious. This. Yeah, this is like 
the spa. <laughs> So we need to change, wash up, and then try the different bath because apparently it's like different temperature, but that's naked, so no camera. But then after that, we will meet again for the gym jilba, okay? All right, so they give you your shirts and pants as soon as you pass the gate there with your key. And you gotta exchange it with your uh, piece of paper that you got with the number. That's pretty much it. And then you go into your locker and that's it. So no more camera for now. All right, so I am done bathing. I don't know where Helmi is. I think she's still in there because she likes to take her time. But as soon as you're done, you can get to this area which really has like outdoor like steam room. There's like different restaurants. So there's a lot of things to do and that's a very normal thing when you go to like a bathhouse in Korea or in Japan. But if you guys don't know it, as soon as you get into the locker, you know, you gotta take off all your clothes. So it's a little bit of a sausage fest if you're in the guys section. So don't be surprised because some people can be kind of surprised because you gotta take everything off. There's no swimsuits and nothing like that. So you're fully naked. So get used to it. And I think some of the hot springs are come from underground here, but it is a very luxurious spa. Too bad I can't show it to you, but just as soon as you come out, the meeting room, the meeting area just looks absolutely fabulous. So let's go explore what else we can do here. I love this, this is kind of nice. You get the feet bath underneath you and it's super warm. It's got some rocky kind of pebbles near and it's kind of like stepping into a Lego. It's crazy, but I love this outdoor kind of scene here. You got that kind of natural breeze. So nice, so really, really, really nice. Still don't know where Helmy is though, but I'm just gonna enjoy myself. Okay, so we're still on the first floor, but check out this section. Oh my gosh, this feels like a hotel. Snack bar, hmm. The thing is, after you go into the spa for 20, 30 minutes, your body temperature is gonna be quite hot, so you kinda wanna drink some isotonic drink or a milk if you are used to those kinda onsen experience or a bathhouse. I might just order that. All right, let's check out the second floor. There's the stairs, but I'm being lazy, so. So the second floor, uh, apparently behind me, there's like a Calvin Klein underwear mannequin. It's crazy, they're even selling Calvin Klein here. And then on my left, there's a spa, well, a massage there. After that spa, we felt like a jelly now. <laughs> It was awesome guys, but right now we're heading back to Semyon because we're staying overnight at Semyon to really explore Busan again tomorrow morning. But before that, we're gonna stop by Guangan on the way home. Now Guangan is another station, also on the green line towards Semyon, but it has the bridge that has this amazing neon lights all around it. And at night, that bridge is so colorful and I wanna see how it looks like. It's gonna be awesome. Buy a drone. <laughs> if my drone can capture all the light. That's true. If you're heading to Gumchon Culture Village, I suggest to take the train to Jagalchi Station. At Jagalchi, there is Guje Market and Biff Square, which is a nice option for a quick snack layover or shopping prior to heading to Gumchon or after your visit to the village. But my advice is to get to Gumchon early. From Jagalchi Station, take a little stroll towards Chungmudong intersection uh, where you'll hop on the bus that takes you towards Gamchon Culture Village. Now the ride is around 15 minutes, but the roads are windy and feels like a roller coaster ride. But you'll have a lot of fun. This is actually my second time to Gamchon Culture Village, while this is actually Nick's first time. It's called Machu Picchu of Korea, actually. Or some people call it Santorini, but I think Machu Picchu is probably closer. But this place actually reminds me of Rainbow Village in Taiwan, in Taichung. Because 
it used to be slum area but then people start painting with different colors and now become tourist attraction where all the tourists basically come here become so popular so it is actually a very good place to visit to see the houses and also buy some souvenir or even relax there are cafes over there as well I think one of the souvenirs that you have to buy from Korea is socks oh my god they have the cutest socks ever and also it's good quality and usually it's 1000 won which is one dollar per sock much cheaper than Australia if Busan isn't on your itinerary I hope this episode inspires you too whether it's the beautiful seaside temple the beach or the historical village Busan is incredible so go on and discover how beautiful Busan is.